Hello Oracle Database Geeks, this is Justin and in this Oracle Database video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an Oracle Database shutdown trigger. Now what a shutdown trigger does is it's a trigger which executes um, specific PLSQL code every time an Oracle Database is shut down or more specifically every time the Oracle Database shutdown command is entered. Now um, an Oracle Database trigger is the general definition of it is a feature which executes PLSQL code in response to a specified event. Okay, and one of the events that Oracle predefines for you that you can set up is the event of an Oracle database shutdown. And I'm going to show you how to set that up now. So let's set our Oracle SID to finance. Let's ensure we are set properly. Now let's connect by SQL Plus. Do a show user to ensure we're connected to sys, and we do a select name from the dollar sign database to ensure we're connected to the finance database. Now, let's go ahead and create a table called shutdown. Create table shutdown, and let's give it one column, and and the column name will be data, with a data type of variable character, 20 characters. Describe shutdown, and we see the structure of our table, and we do select asterisk um, from shutdown, and we will see that no data is currently in this table. So to create our trigger, we type in the following, create or replace trigger, we'll call it shutdown, before shutdown on database. Begin insert into shutdown values shutdown. Commit and slash trigger created. So basically what we have here is we created a trigger with a, cr with a create or replace trigger command. The trigger is called shutdown and we're saying before shutdown on database so before you shut down the oracle database before you shut down the oracle database execute the code that's in between the begin and the end commands here so this trigger says ex says says execute the begin and all the code that's between the begin and the end command every time someone issues a shutdown command against the oracle database and the code we're going to execute is we're going to do an insert into shutdown value shutdown, which means we're going to insert one row of data into the shutdown table, and that value is going to be of that of that data is going to be shutdown. If I do select asterisk from shutdown, see we have nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut down my Oracle database. Shut down immediate. going to do my startup. So I'm going to restart my database from its shutdown immediate. Now I'll type in select asterisk from shutdown and I will see I have a row of I have a row now in this table, the shutdown table, um, because the shutdown trigger fired because it did a shutdown immediate. Now if I do a shutdown normal, which is the default type of shutdown, and I restart my Oracle database. and we do select asterisk from shutdown we will see we have two rows of data now in the shutdown table and if I do a shutdown transactional 
which is another shutdown type. And I restart my Oracle database. Select asterisk from back from shutdown. I will see that I have another row of data inserted into my table shutdown. So shutdown immediate, shutdown normal, and shutdown transactional. Now let's do the fourth type of shutdown, the shutdown abort, which kills the instant. Now I'll type in startup, and this will do uh, crash recovery under the covers, which recovers any tra mis any transactions from the online redo log files. Select asterisk from shutdown. And you'll see there are only three entries just like there are here before we did a shutdown report. So even though we, we did four types of database shutdowns, we only have three rows in the shutdown table. That is because when you do a shutdown abort, it doesn't even get a chance to fire the trigger. Okay? Shutdown abort says stop all normal function functioning of the Oracle database. Stop all normal operations immediately. Bam, just kills it. So the Oracle database just aborts. Okay? So a database a shut a database trigger that's set up to tr fire on database shutdown will not fire on a shutdown abort, but will for a shutdown immediate, shutdown normal, or sh shutdown transactional type shutdowns. Okay, well, that's how you create an, an Oracle database trigger which fires on a database shutdown.